Hey guys, today's tutorial is on this look right here. It is a monochromatic look. So what that is, is using the same color throughout the face. As you can see, I am going with a red brick sort of color, so a reddish brown. And I used it on the eyes and the lips and a bit on the cheeks. So it makes the color pop even more. I'm starting off with my face already done, so I have my contour done, a little bit of my contour. Um, I'm baking as well, as you can see I've got some powder sitting on my face and I'll brush that off later. Um, I also have my brows done and foundation. So we're going to move on to the eyes. I've linked down below my full coverage foundation routine so you can see how I did that as well. I'm going to use this color here, a soft brown, and just put that in the crease. And the brush I'm using is a E38, a diffuse crease brush from Sigma. And just really blend it out upwards towards the brow. As you can see, compared to the other eye, this eye already has a bit of definition just from blending that out in the crease. I'm going to go in with that color there and just define the crease a little bit more. To do that, I'm going to use the Morphe M412 brush. So I'm just doing it right under the crease and half on the upper lid. Just because we are putting a dark color on the lid, we want it to blend up gradually to that crease color. I'm going to mix this dark reddish brown with that one as well and put that on the lid. To do this, I'm using a Luxe Grand Shader Brush by Zoeva number 220. Once you've done the lid, you want to blend it out as well. So that's just going to mix in really nicely with the other colours. So I'm just going to dust off all that powder that we had baking on the face. And also you can see I have a bit of fallout. And what the powder does is it catches the eyeshadow, the dark eyeshadows or any eyeshadows that fall underneath your eyes. And it will swipe straight off as you will see. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Zoeva 114 Luxe Face Focus Brush and I'm just going to take Banana from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm just going to dust that off. So now I'm going to contour with the colour Fawn from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm just taking a Luxe Face Paint Brush from Zoeva number 109. Now to bronze up my face, I'm using this color here from NARS. It's the Jewel Intensity Blush and it's in Craving. And I'm just using a MAC 217 angled brush. And I really, really like this color. Just gives a really nice glow to the face. Bronzy glow, I should say. I'm just going back into Fawn from Anastasia and I'm just going to contour my nose. To luminize the face, I'm using Laura Mercier's Baked Matte Radiance Powder in Highlight 01. And I just really hit the cheekbones with this. And I also apply it to my, just above my brow arch and upwards. 
Then I also apply it to the tip of my nose. And I just used a 221 Zoeva Luxe Soft Crease Brush. And I applied that highlight to the brow bone and the inner corners. Now to finish the under eyes off, I am going to use that same Morphe M412 brush and the first crease colour that we used. I'm just really getting in that lower lash line and smoking it out. With a MAC 255 brush, I'm going to use that dark red brown colour again and just really tight line the lash line. And then you just want to blend it out a little. With a white eyeliner pencil from MAC, it's called Fascinating, I'm just going to line the waterline. Now I'm just going to apply one coat of mascara to my lashes and I'm using Perversion by Urban Decay. For the lower lash line, I'm using MAC's Extended Play Lash. So today I feel like going a little bit crazy with my lashes, so I'm going to use the pair from Velour called T.O. They are crazy, but I love it. For lips, I'm going to use Dose of Colors Matte Lipstick in Brick. And I don't line my lips when I use a matte lipstick most of the time. finish off the face, I'm just going to use this blush from, where is it from, Artist of Makeup. And I'm just going to use that same MAC 217 brush, I'm just going in with the lighter colour. And then I'm just going to spray my face with a MAC Fix Plus. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this.